Hi there, I'm Robin and the maker of Native Express. In the next minutes, I want to go through everything you get when you purchase Native Express. First of all, you get the code and the repository, which you see right here. Once you clone that, you can open that in your favorite code editor. So this is how it looks like. You can start it up and you get the demo app included to get you started quickly. And the demo app is available for iOS and also for Android. The, the demo app is completely App Store and Play Store aligned with the submission guides. So you can su submit it as it is and don't get any trouble there. The demo app comes with light and dark mode and also has payment and subscriptions and in-app payments for Apple, Android, and uh, Stripe included. Besides that, we can go through the code for a minute. I tried to mimic the web developer experience you are used to with Next.js as closely as possible. So what that means is we have the app directory under source, which is file-based routing similar to what we have with Next.js file-based routing and the app router. We also get GlueStack UI, which is an open source UI library really similar to ShadCN. And we get Tailwind CSS to style the app, which comes with the Tailwind config as we know and we are used to and familiar with. And we can adjust the theming and the fonts and everything else with the Tailwind config. Besides that, we get a compre comprehensive documentation, which looks like that. The documentation is openly available. You can go through it. Uh, it comes with everything, documentation on everything, regard, uh, including the tooling and the general setup for your development environment. For, so everything you need to code and develop and run iOS apps and Android apps is described in here, including comprehensive video guides on everything. Besides that, we have also documentation on all the features, which are payment using RevenueCat. RevenueCat is then connected with Apple Payment and Google Payment, as well as Stripe. Furthermore, we have monitoring using Sentry. So this is really helpful to um, handle errors and, and crashes of the app. We get analytics using PostHoc. So this is regarding user experience and user analytics, improving the features. And we get, of course, push notifications using one signal. It's described on how to set up and it describes how to send push notifications and schedule them. So if you have purchased the premium version, the more advanced version, you get the submission guide. The submission guide includes submission guide on App Store and on Play Store. This includes on how to build the app, how to fill out App Store Connect or Play Store Console to, to get through it. Besides that, you get prompts for privacy policy and terms of service and as well as the Play App and Play Store description. Besides that, you get a Figma asset template, which is super useful, as I think. So any feature screenshots, um, any banners for Android in the right sizes you need, you can just drag and drop them in here on the canvas, and then you can adjust the layout to be, for example, text focused or be with description. You can adjust the background to maybe be monocolor or have like this fade, or for example, be white. And you can adjust the text and the fonts and everything. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, everything I know, like from building startups in the last seven years and from building apps in the last two years and especially transition from web developer to mobile developer is packed into Native Express in documentations, in the guides and in the code.